we return to the far distant future of 1992 with Marauders, and things are not going well. We are broke, destitute, and desperately need some new loot, so today we're jumping in for some intense solos to see if we can save up some more money. Speaking of saving money, if you're interested in Marauders and other discounted games, then check out 2game.com. They are an official authorized retailer that provides keys directly from the publishers, and they're currently running a 10% off promotion on Marauders. And make sure to use coupon code PUNGLES for an additional 5% off. You save money, it supports the channel, and you can get some awesome games. So check it out, and thank you to 2game for sponsoring this video. And let's go. Back in our old trusty rust bucket in the deep, dark, unforgiving depths of space. And we are in the asteroid belt, so we're going to move right in in our rust bucket. I see someone moving in on it now. And let's see if we can go get some of that sweet, sweet loot. Oh, we got some battling. We got some battling. Let's see if we can cut them off. Reload. Reload. Catch him before he gets into the airlock. I'm not going to be able to do it. A couple good hits and he's gone. Okay. Well, we're going to move down to the next one, so I'm not just going to get airlock camped. Lock camped? I don't know. There's probably a term for it for the community. I don't know it. I actually did secure another ship and almost <laughs> immediately lost it. So, again, things are not going well, but we're going to turn it around right here. We're going to turn our luck around. Let's get in here and see what we can grab. Okay, we got ourselves a little nice little uh, rifle here and a little Luger as a backup. So, got some uh, decent weapons. I think this rifle is basically a one-shot kill to the head. And uh, most guns are in Marauders. And I did that review on it, but for those just joining, the general idea is to loot, kill, and escape <laughs> if possible. So let's see if someone's waiting right here on the other side of this airlock from us. Okay. So far, so good. I'm doing much better. I'm already doing much better than my traditional raid where I just get domed right out of the airlock. Oh! Got us an AI here. Let's see if we can kill him without him killing us. Oh, come on. There we go. Just drop him. Let's reload. They do need to work on a little bit of the gunplay in this game, though. It is, uh, it's rough, for sure. It's not bad. In my review, I said it's pretty solid as far as, you know, what this game is. It's actually pretty good, but it is an FPS, so they should prioritize the gunplay and the animations. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Just dropped him. Oh, there's another one. Ow. Boom! Easy peasy, lemony squeezy. And I have brought no healing. I have no healing, so that was really smart. Really good strategy there. Oh, what the? Ooh, look at this little sneaky sneak. This is a good spot. If someone came below me, I could just drop on them like an assassin. I can hear movement, but I don't think anyone's... I don't think anyone's coming. All right, well, I'm disappointed. I hoped someone would come by and we could uh, snipe them from up there, but let's get some of this loot off these bodies. There was shooting over there seen anyone so I think we're oh oh we're getting sniped at let's take out that AI come on there we go another one dome you in the back oh more shooting oh that's on me oh no no I should have moved oh I think that was still an AI just killed me <laughs> all right well on to the next one onward and upward this is pretty cool. They definitely nailed the skyboxes. I wish the uh, space combat was fleshed out a little bit more, and I, I think they have a lot of plans to do that with new ships and different things like that. The multi, I really haven't had the chance, but I know that there's multi-crew ships. Well, even these rust buckets, you can have, like, a gunner and stuff. Is that someone over there? That is someone over there. Yep, we're going for it. Yep, we're going in the escape pod. We're going to try to breach into them. we got to hurry, though, because they may have moved. Here we go. Here we go. All right, where'd you go, you little sucker? I am not, I'm not seeing him. It does take a minute to get into the escape pod, so they very well could have been behind me or something. I am not seeing the ship. Where the hell did they go? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea where that ship went. Maybe they just had one of the contracts to destroy those stations or something and went out. I don't, I don't know. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go back in. This is a really efficient way to, um, breach into your own ship. It's a really efficient way to reboard your own ship is just blast a hole into the side of it. And let's get into that main station and get some loot. Where am I going? All right, this is a Navy Commando Stronghold, so I didn't see any other ships coming into it, actually, so we're going to see if there's other players in here. I know that there's a lot of, like, these, like, Commando NPCs that are here with a little bit of better weaponry than just these standard Raiders, so I do really enjoy the atmosphere of this game, though. The, uh, 
these kind of derelict just stations just sitting in silence and I really like how there's just absolute si <laughs> silence. It really adds to this feeling of isolation. I have no bags, so my only hope is to... I have a pouch kit, but hopefully I can kill an NPC and grab one of their bags. Some shooting going on, so there are people here. Man, the footsteps are really hard to pinpoint. That's something they need to improve is the audio quality. Maybe it's on purpose, so you can't just exactly pinpoint where someone is, but... Again, I mentioned in my review, coming from Hunt Showdown, it's really hard. Coming up these stairs. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure that was just one of the uh, Navy commando guys because he just ran right into me. All right, let's snag his vest. Let's take that. And probably some ammo. Yep, let's snag the ammo. Dink, dink, dink. <laughs> Shot him right in the side of the head. Pretty sure these are all just NPCs because that guy just stood there. Like, uh, yeah, I'm positive that one was. I'm not hearing any other shooting, so let's search this little bin. What do we got? Okay, grab the water. Got some fabric, got some tape. Got some chemicals. Let's let's drink one of our waters. We'll snack this. There we go. All right, let's move up and loot this guy. What would you have for me? Nothing. Nothing much. Well, it's probably just ammo. Yep. Sometimes I do think it's a little too quiet in the ships, um, and it makes it really hard to sneak around, because unlike Tarkov, where you can crouch and control like your speed even when you're crouched, where you can slow it way down and you're essentially silent, especially if you're a lightweight. Um, in this one, it's just crouch speed and walking speed, and crouch speed still is pretty loud. If you got good headphones on, you can basically hear someone moving around anywhere. So being a spaceship... I would think, especially a diesel-powered spaceship, you would think uh, there'd be loud engines. I guess this is a station, but the, the blaring of lights, um, of fluorescent lamps, the electrical crackle of all the different systems. There's a lot of noise and soundscape they could put into these ships to make it a little bit more intense and a little bit easier to move around. I'm pretty sure there's a guy right below me, though. Because while it's eerie and it's kind of interesting how silent it is, it's also kind of immersion-breaking, I would think, to hear, like, Again, the blaring of these lights or steam or something. That fans whirring and things like that. Oh, yep. That's definitely an NPC, because if that was a player, he probably would have killed me. <laughs> All right, let's go loot him, too. Ooh, he had the suppressed Sten, so we're going to swap out ours for that. And it's a lot better condition, so there we go. Okay, I'm almost positive the player that was here is gone. So let's um, let's make our way back out. If I can find it. This is the other challenge. Finding where you came from in some of these in some of these stations. And you're on a timer. These uh, NPCs continuously respawn as well as you have limited oxygen to basically loot and escape. So, okay, this is must this must be where the other player was. I'm pretty sure they left because I haven't heard anything. Oh. Oh, right there. I don't think that was them. I think that was one of the commandos. Let's double check, though. Yeah, so this is one of the commandos, and I think he had... Yep, yeah, he's got the little uh, commando carbine as in Battlefield Five that I've said is one of the most satisfying weapons in that game. Just a little click and bolt action of it is very, very fun. So let's swap that in. Okay, well, I don't think there's any players left in here, and we got some pretty good stuff. We're pretty full, so let's, uh, let's get out of here. Take our loot with us, escape, survive another day, and let's jump into the next one. See, our oxygen's counting out, so we only had 10 minutes left, but we are escaping... Let's jump into the next raid, and I'm feeling that itch. I'm feeling that itch for more loot, and I'm really feeling the itch for PvP, so we're going to be really aggressive in this next one. Okay, we're changing our strategy a bit here. We're going to go straight for, and I'm not seeing anyone yet, but we're going straight for a breach, and we're going to try to take someone's ship and all of their loot, so let's see how we do. But I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, there's one. There they are. Let's start hitting them. Oh, that's one of the more advanced ships. That might be... Oh, boy. Oh boy, these things can really hit you hard. I think they have a turret. Oh! <laughs> shit! Let's get out of here. That thing, like, two shot my ship. Let's go. Okay, we're going for the escape pod. We're going to breach. That's not the way. That's not the way. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. That's quite the ship you got there. Be a shame if someone were to breach it. <laughs> it might even be NPCs, because those are some of the NPC ships as well. Where'd they go? Where'd you go? There they are. Oh, I think I blew that too early. Come on. 
<laughs> Go! <laughs> Shooting at another player right there. Oh, I'm right behind him. Just don't see me. Just don't see me. This may be NPCs. Yep, they're kind of shooting into the wall, but uh, regardless, we're taking this ship. Let's go. Reach in! Oh, reload. What? I did not mean to reload. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Oh, yeah. There's multiple here. Oh, no. <gasps> Thanks. Oh, right behind me. Okay, take you out. Take you out. Oh, I shouldn't have reloaded. That was dumb. I had 25. Reload! Reload! Yeah. Woo! Woo! I think that's it. I think that was it. Wow. <laughs> Sweating over here. That was, um... These are NPCs. These are like a uh, security ship that basically is trying to protect it from pirates like me. And they failed in their mission because now their ship belongs to me. Kind of disappointing. I really wanted it to be a player. I really wanted to breach into a player's ship, but maybe we'll have the opportunity in a little bit. And these ships are pretty cool. These are like four-man ships, I'm pretty sure, with like different viewing stations and turrets. Oh, the engine is not looking good. Let's um, let's try to take care of that. Ow. Oh, geez. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm going to die. Get rid of this. Come on. I'm gonna die alone in this ship just because it's being hit. I don't, it wasn't damaged before, so someone's outside shooting it? I don't really know. Let's see what's going on out here. Let's get some visibility into this space. I don't see anything. I don't know why it was burning. I I don't even think it got hit. Maybe when you're breached, it does damage. I actually, I actually don't know. I don't know if, it, if you breach and it slowly does damage. There's a ship right here. This is someone's ship. Oh, the turret. Let's take that out, because I think the turret wiped them out. That's on fire. They may still be in there. Let's hit them a couple more times just to make sure they stay nice and damaged, and then I might want to go... I'm going to go check it out. Let's go check out that ship. Really low health, though, so if someone's alive in there, I need some healing. Let's, uh, let's go see what's going on. What's going on with your ship over here, buddy? You okay? I'm going to breach into you. not hearing anyone. I'm pretty sure no one's here or they are dead. And, uh, oh, there they are. So, yeah, this was a player that got destroyed by that. I don't know. I don't know if they got killed by the turret thing and just burned out, but, uh, I'm an opportunist if nothing else, so sorry, but, um, but I'm gonna take that stuff and leave you. All right, well, that was interesting. Let's go back to our ship and see if maybe... It's been long enough. Maybe we can catch someone trying to get out of the actual raid. And maybe we can just kind of camp. I think it's a little late. I'm kind of full and I'm low health. So I don't exactly want to go into the station and, and get some stuff. But uh, let's see if we can find someone out here. Oh, I'm hearing bombs. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. Th no, that's my ship. Someone's shooting my ship. Little do they know. I'm flanking him with this ship. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's panicking. He's running for the exit. He is absolutely panicking, so he might have some good loot. Come on. Where are you going, bud? This ship is obviously... As you can see, this ship is way faster, and I'm way... Really, really bad at shooting. There's one. There's one. Oh, that was some good damage. <laughs> oh, he's on fire now. Okay, he's gonna try to get in the escape pod. Maybe we can do some more damage to him. He's either going to try to breach me or go right for the exit in the escape pod. I'm pretty sure you can extract. I've actually never tried to extract in the escape pods, but I'm, I'm almost positive you can. Okay, we're going to keep our distance and keep an eye out for the escape pod. They're like these little tiny little lights that you can see. Oh, there he is. And he's heading for the exit. Lame. I wanted him to come try to uh, take me out, but... Next time we'll get him as a true space pirate should in Marauders, and that was fun. I got some actually good loot. I didn't really get much PvP in, that's for sure, but uh, we had some good times. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more Marauders content. I'm having a really good time with it. It is a... It is... It's not perfect. It has its issues, but I'm having a good time. That's it for me. Until next time.